Hi, hello. Welcome back to Max Ninjas. In Max Ninjas, we were discussing the congruency, the criterion for congruency of triangles. Today, we can discuss the last session that is RHS criterion of congruency of triangles. RHS criterion says that under the given correspondence, the hypotenuse and one side of a right angle triangle is equal to the hypotenuse and one side of an another right angle triangle. Then we can say that these two triangles are congruent. I know that surely you can't understand anything from the definition. We can go through the picture and I will explain the criterion once again. So let us discuss what is the meaning of RHS criterion. R H S What does this R indicate? R indicates right angle, right angle and H denotes hypotenuse and this S denotes side. That means if we have a triangle like this, This is triangle A, B, C and this is the right angle of this triangle and what will be the hypotenuse of this triangle? Just opposite side of the right angle is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So this side is hypotenuse and right angle and hypotenuse then one side. These three things are equal to this is the another triangle P Q R. Here Q is right angle and this side is the hypotenuse that is P R is the hypotenuse and one more side Q R. If B C is equal to Q R and angle B and angle Q are the right angles and these two hypotenuses are equal then we can say that these two triangles are congruent this is the criterion RHS criterion so question number one in question number one they have given the parts of two triangles these three are the parts of first triangle and these three are the parts of second triangle we have to show that or we have to check that these two triangles are congruent or not by using RHS criteria. So before that you should be thorough with the criteria RHS criteria. So for this first I am going to construct the first triangle by taking these three measurements. So right angle is at B and this is 90 degrees. Then AC is 8 cm, AB is 3 cm. So this is A and this is C. AB is 3 cm and AC is 8 cm. From this figure we can say that AC is the hypotenuse and angle B is right angle and one side they have given as 3 cm. Now I am going to draw the second triangle. They have given that at angle P it is right angle. So here I can mark P. This is right angle and PR is 3 cm. Then QR is 8 cm, PR is 3 cm and QR is 8 cm. By the theorem, by the, cri by the criterion, if the hypotenuse and one side of one triangle, one right angle triangle is equal to one side and hypotenuse of another right angle triangle we can say that these two triangles are congruent 
so here hypotenuse ac and qr are 8 cm ac equal to qr equal to 8 cm angle b equal to angle p equal to 90 degree and one more data bc bc equal to pr equal to 3 cm so we can say that abc triangle a b c is congruent to b should be the right angle and here p is the right angle and it should come in the middle so q p r triangle q p r now we got two correspond to now we got two congruent triangles by using rhs criteria here too we are going to construct two triangles for the first triangle they have given three data first triangle and for the second triangle too they have given three data we are going to construct these two triangles and after that we should conclude that is it congruent or not by using rhs criterion that's all right so at the point a the triangle is right angle so here i can mark it as a a is 90 degree and ac is 5 cm bc is 9 cm here it is b bc is 9 cm so first triangle is over we can construct the next one next one angle q is 90 degree so i can draw here it is the right angle and here the point is q then pr is 8 cm p and r pr is 8 cm pq is 5 cm from this is these two triangles are congruent or not see right angle and the side lies in the opposite of right angle we will call it as hypotenuse in this triangle bc is the hypotenuse and its value is 9 cm hypotenuse equal to bc equal to 9 cm and here pr is lying opposite to right angle so pr is the hypotenuse and pr is 8 cm so i can write down is not equal to pr that is bc is not equal to pr because bc is 9 cm and pr is 8 cm so hypotenuse are not equal so definitely we can say that these two triangles are not congruent i hope you enjoyed my class if you have any doubt about this criteria please ask to me through comment box if you like my video please like share and subscribe and support me signing off with me bijoy from max ninjas